Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to this very, very special video. Today, we are going to be uh, ranking all the buses in Tier Maker um, with uh, feature featuring Matcha. So, hey Matcha. Hello. Um, Hello. I've got... Uh, where is your S Plus tier gone? <laughs> oh god, I need to add that. Ah, don't worry. <laughs> no, no, yeah. you don't need two tiers, mate. It's fine. So, yeah, just S Plus. Great start, isn't it, Matcha? Of course, dude. Oh, here we go. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, now we can begin. Right. Uh, yeah. One moment. Do you know if we can like pause real quick? Because I've just realised I don't have any of my notes available. <laughs> I. Wait, can we uh, just like? Yeah. So how's it going, Matcha? Mm, good. Right, shall we kick it off then? So, today we have a tier list for buses. Yep. So, I let's just begin, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to put the... <laughs> so, yeah. so, you have seven tiers here. Yep. Just like... Bus for reserve for... Yep. Bus reserve for the best. Yep. And F tier for <laughs> absolutely horrible. Yeah. Cough, cough, street light. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, just yeah. like in my subjects tier list, it's seven tiers, isn't it, Matcha? Yeah. So, starting with the Enviro 200. A tier, definitely. Yes, I love this bus. So, so do much. I. Uh, it's old. It, it's very durable and lasts a long time. Old is gold, isn't it, Matcha? I've had yeah. so many memories uh, coming back from Erith with my nan, my brother, my sister um, on this bus at night, sat at the back. It was an Arriva one as well. And I think that's... Is that... No, that's not an Arriva one. But anyway, yeah. An Arriva Enviro 200. My, my, my memory has been from uh, London General. Fair enough. In Go Ahead. Yeah. Going from Bromley. Oh yes. Uh, oh yeah. There's another next up. Wait, no, quick. Sorry, sorry. I don't have a note. Yeah, I have yeah. to say, uh, the Enviro Two Hundred. The uh, on the right hand side. I think it's like the second to back row is like an exit row, so you get like extra leg room. It's so spacious. I love. I love that emergency exit door. Right now, without further ado, the next bus. Enviro Two Hundred MMC. Yeah. Just mid. Yeah. Pretty much. No, and the main reason I have the 208 here is that is all the memories on it. Yeah, and also that exit row. You don't get that on the new one. The MMC just feels too, like, recent. <laughs> yeah. And also the one on the B14 has got, like, no middle egress, which is annoying. And it has the... It has the new Alexander Dennis seats, which can be quite uncomfortable. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Next up, we have the Enviro 200 MMC EV. S plus, 100%. This is an amazing bus. Yes. I love it so much. Sure, <laughs> that new buses are great. Yeah, you got. I know it's electric, right? But you get like the charging ports, like all the furnishings are nice. You get leather seats, charging ports. Yes, the seats are amazing. Yes. I've been on this bus a few times, specifically the B13. Yeah. And it's just so Same. good. I love it. It's brilliant. Like, so new, but it's just... Wow, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have the... F <laughs> Next up, we have the Mercedes-Benz Citaro. Mm -hmm. It looks all right, I guess, for a diesel bus. Yeah. But again, I... I have many memories of it, so I'll probably just put it on par with... The four hundred, the two hundred MMC. I've not even been on it, so I can't really comment. Yeah. Uh, and again, Matcha, uh, quick note: yes. uh, until I think is it the street light or something. So uh, the next three or four buses, I don't have a comment, so I'll let you take full control. Yeah. I don't have much to say about the end of these next ones. Just looks like the most. This just looks like the most mid electric single decker ever. 
True. So yeah. I'm just I'm just going to I'm actually going to adjust this so it's like this. Fair enough. Because left is the best. Yes. Yes. And we have the Vol Volvo BZL electric single decker. Yeah. It looks like an all right electric bus, but I'm gonna put it in A tier. Why? Why above the Enviro two hundred? Mainly because it's electric, and I just I hate going on diesel buses with all the vibrations on them. I understand it is your tier list, so I'll let you do that. I'm just saying that like, the exit row on the Enviro two hundred is just really good. I'm gonna say thank you. <laughs> and then now we have the Irizar IE tram. Okay, this looks insane mm -hmm. S tier easily yeah but my god does this look amazing oh yeah like I, there's no way it's going to be any lower than S tier yeah I, I agree wow Ooh. looks like it doesn't even have, have any wheels it's just like I know the wheels bus. are really well hidden yeah you can like see the wheels <laughs> oh imagine that Oh yeah. And we have another electric single decker, so I'm just gonna put down beats here as well. Yeah. Come on. Okay. You heard what I said earlier, street light after. Yeah, I Easy. mean I have been on the two eight six like maybe once when like the B thirteen was cut short of New Altum and I'm so lucky I didn't get the street light. Like, wow! The I've got like a modified like, Enviro two hundred. Yeah, that's what the you see. The street light has horrible vibration feeling, and it makes a really disgusting sound. That sounds like a chainsaw. <laughs> Better use it for medical surgery. Then that's what they did back in the eighteen hundreds. Okay, so that's all the single deckers. Most of them are beta. Yeah. So. And now we're going on to double deckers. Oof, yes. Here's the first one, the Enviro 400. Top of S tier, 100%. I, think this, I believe this is the second oldest double decker still in operation. Yeah, um, I'm looking... Actually, no. Well, it is the second oldest, but I was looking at another bus in this tier list, but uh, the Enviro 400 is actually... Well, some of them are older than... The other one I'm looking at right now, some of them are from uh, March 2008, which is earlier than 2009. The, the, Enviro, the, the Enviro 400 was first manufactured in 2005. T sorry, what? 2005? Yeah. Okay. okay. That, that just shows how good of a bus it is. Yes, it was well ahead of its time, easily. Even the 2015 ones still feel fresh, and that's like 10 years old. Like the, the Enviro... Speaking of that, we have the Enviro 400 MMMC. Which is, yeah. Now, this is one of the models that I've been on the full route of. And mm, yes. it's definitely a good bus to be on for an hour, at least. Yeah. Because the seat, it's still, despite being quite a modern bus, it still uses quite old Alexander Dennis seating. Yeah. They just use the backwards facing seats. Oh, yes. Um, quick note about the regular Enviro 400. The number of memories I've had, but also, like, the back seats in the Enviro 400 are really good as well. And, like, memories as well, particularly the Areva ones, because uh, before the introduction of SL3 in the new Southeastern timetable, I took the 229 uh, a lot, yeah. but, yeah, not anymore. The 229 is the bus on the photo of the Enviro yes. 400. <laughs> That's a nice touch, but isn't this, it? But, I believe this photo was taken in Irith. So. Yeah. However, uh, I'm going to put the Enviro 400 MMC right in the middle of Ata. Yeah, that's understandable. Now we have the Enviro 400 City slash EV, because they're pretty much the same bus. Middle of S plus tier. Yeah, so like in just front below of... the... Why? Why not above? Just wondering. Because I think... It... Because it the seats can again can be quite uncomfortable in it, it's based on what I've been on. Oh, alright. 
Uh, yeah, I so, can certainly see why. Uh, but well, on the... It's one of the few bosses... What? What do you say? It's one of the few bosses where I prefer its single decker counterparts. That is interesting. Yeah, I understand. Uh, I like to say about the Enviro 400 EV, basically the same features as the um, Enviro 200 EV, but I think I might have slight disparities because I'm someone who prefers like bigger is better. That's why I like longer trains, bigger planes, bigger buses. So I prefer double decker. So I might have a bit of personal I bias here. I think London should start using triple axis, triple axle buses. Or maybe um, more of another bus, which we might be able to get to um, later on. Oh, not too far later on, actually. Yeah. Anyways, next up is the MCV Evo Sassy. Yeah. This is a very... It just looked incredibly odd. In my opinion. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? Not as odd as not as some as odd as some other buses that, I'm, that such as the areas that I.E. tram. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, the or the or what we're going to talk about later. But I'm going oh, yeah. to put this in. I think this is great C tier material. Yeah. Like, is there like anything that you may want to pick out about it that may be like undesirable? Not necessarily bad, but just not ideal. It uses a Volvo B7 or B9 TL chassis, which essentially means that it's diesel or hybrid. Uh, That's... Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyways, next up, enough foreshadowing, the the new Roots Master. <laughs> don't don't you dare, Matcha. Don't you dare. You know where it belongs. Yes. Top of S plus. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to talk about the sibling later on. But I need to talk about the um new Root Master, so I might have a little bit of the video here. So basically the new Root Master right has got some really, really good features. Uh firstly you've got the rear staircase. Um, which complements another and feature. And the rear door. Yes, the rear doors with the rear, sta- rear staircase together is really important because basically what happens a lot on London buses, right, is it's packed full of standing passengers, but they're not allowed to stand that on the upper deck or stairs. And basically, so, upper deck passengers normally have an absolute pain trying to go down the stairs and leave through the normal middle doors. But with the new Route Master, right, you can walk, you can get off the bus... Basically, you get out of your seat, you walk to the back, go down the back staircase, and the door is literally right there. There's just not standing room between you on the stairs and the door. It's not a thing. You can try, but it's just not really practical, right? So, basically, it's really good for crowd control. Uh, Some of the new Root Masters actually have charging ports now. They look really ahead of their time. They look just so quaint and comfortable. Um, you've got like the furnishings are really nice and if you've ever seen a new route master at night it is something else because the spotlights make it feel so utopian and whilst I normally think like cubular things make things look more modern um, the way how like it, the, it's curved like, just makes it look so futuristic mm. but it's probably because of those rectangular Again, like, whip, ribbon windows also like with the IE tram electric it looks yeah. incredibly futuristic yeah, I'm done with my rant about the new Route Master. I just want to say something about the new Route Master. Yeah. Imagine a triple axle, imagine a triple axle version of the new Route Master. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. So like a triple axle, right? But not necessarily articulated as we would have like a stretch version. So like one or two frames a bit bigger or longer necessarily. So it's a, that touch bit longer, mm-hmm. but it's triple axle. That that would yeah, that would like be even better for overcrowding solution. Also, the Mercedes-Benz Citroën used to have a articulated variant in London. Ah. Oh. Oh. Mm. The good old days. Next up is just a. Next up is another random electric double decker. So. It's just, just going to put this bang in the middle of E tier. Yeah, it's good because it's electric, but not much else, I guess. I think it's hybrid. Mm. Actually. 
Oh, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna put it below these two. Yeah, so like, teetering, just middle. <laughs> but the bus that is electric is the Volvo BZR electric double decker. Not a single decker with a native. But this looks goofy. This bus looks so yeah. goofy. What? I love it. So I'm going to put it right on par with its single decker counterpart. Yeah, fair enough. And now we have the right Eclipse Gemini 2, but the Eclipse in brackets because they're pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to Memories. Put yeah, definitely memories. I agree. Uh, the 269. So that, that, that boosts it up a tier immediately. Yeah, like the memories that come with Aretha's um, Gemini 2 or whatever it's called. It's just it's mm. so many. And also like sometimes it's put on the 229 as well. So that's just boosts it further. Yes. So I'm going to put it in... Just above that hybrid bus in B tier. Yeah. For a second, to me, it just feels a very like mid bus. Yeah, it feels quite mid, but it's not necessarily as it is like bad. It's just it's got memories, so it's definitely got something going for it at least. Also, some now of the have I've got like the rear egress as well, emerging one. Yeah, I'm done. Now I have the Rise Eclipse Gemini 3 slash Street Deck. It's either the new version of the Gemini 2 or the double decker version of the Street Light, which I think is an absolute crime yes. that this has to be related to the Street Light. Because it's such a nice bus. Yeah. Wow. Another, another very futuristic looking bus. Oh, yes. I can... So I'm going to put it. In the middle of Acer. Yeah, definitely good. What good bus? Even though I've like never been on it before. Actually, I'm going to put it actually here. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Now we have the SRM, which is I think is an absolute waste of space. Did, it's just see? the new. Uh, no pun intended, because it's literally just the new Route Master, but without the back staircase. So it literally yeah. defeats all purpose of the new Route Master. When you say it like goes in detail, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect detail material. Mm, yeah, it's got quite... What's the point of it? Like, just like, why? Okay, fine, it's a bit harsh. Probably like C tier, not so D tier, because I know what goes in D tier. But like, yeah, it's just... No and finally, we have the Scania Omnicity. Not I forgot about this bus. <laughs> Just D tier. Yeah, I think D tier is fine because like the outside looks really so, good. But the inside is old because I, I yeah. believe it's the oldest double. I believe it's the oldest double decker still in operation. No, no, the Enviro four hundred is older because there's some two thousand and eight models still hanging around. I think. The Omnicity is dying. There's only one left. Sorry, what the one in D tier? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy because I've actually been on that as well. Uh, oh, there's, there's, only the, there's only them on one that's all permanently on one route left. Like, I've. I think it was like February yeah. last time I went on one of these. So, February 2024. Ooh. I believe the 96 uses 400 H's. It's literally just the hybrid version of the Enviro 400. The 96 is a wild card. The number of buses I've seen put on the 96 is crazy. So it's clearly that one in D tier. You've got the Enviro 400 and 400 EV. And then, not EV, um, sorry, 400H. And then like, there's another one, which I don't know the name of. And then there's like, what, there's like another one as well. So yeah. I think it's like a variant of like the 400, the newer four, Enviro 400. Uh, not on this tier list, but I'm not sure where it's gone. It's weird. The 96, mm. the number of buses on the 96 is just crazy. Yeah, it's almost like the 321. Yeah. Or actually... Like I've seen the Ever 13 the these two. Match, I'm going to say something now, mm. right? I've Before seen the introduction of the yeah. 400 EV on the 132, I think the 132 was similar as well. Or the 492. The number of buses I've seen 
on like the 132 and also the 51 has got like loads of different buses on there it's probably <laughs> variants of like the gemini 2 and the enviro 400 but there's like multiple variants of, like three or four variants of each put on these bus so routes so this is the bus the london bus tier list yes <laughs> i'm surprised s plus tier has more buses on it than s tier does yeah what a way to be optimistic i guess right yeah so... i mean just like beat yeah uh, I'm going to say to my audience now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, and yeah. yeah, it's nice having and... um, another person here too, Matcha. Want to say anything? Hello. And you, I think you should check out Dylan's channel because it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Matcha. Also, check out Matcha's channel as well. Uh, I'm not sure the exact link, but I think you linger in some of my comment sections don't you with the same uh, yes, icon so I, I think it would be good if you can like just if you guys want to definitely check out his channel like and subscribe to his too just search for it in any of my comment sections like you you will find his channel there so definitely check it out and without further ado take care bye for now